Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, America. Oh, maybe I should do it this way. Hey, hey, good morning, America. Anyways. So, I came up with a sick, pretty cool idea that I think that everyone in the world will love. So, basically... You know, everything's going digital, right? So I was thinking, if someone walks or visits it, visits a bar or a pool pub, right? Because I've been going lately to the pool pub. Anyways, they sell alcohol there, right? And then I went to the bowling alley and they have a bar there as well. They sell alcohol. So, you know, I was thinking scientifically, measure four ounces of this ingredient, you know, and so on and so on and so on to get the right, the correct ratio and then doing that at all times, right? Every single time, the same correct ratio for mixed drinks, alcohol. Uh, so if we go to McDonald's, um, I know, I think it's Taco Bell. Taco Bell has, yeah, I think it's Taco Bell. There is some McDonald's. Uh, franchises who have the machines where, you know, you could order stuff on a screen. But imagine this type of concept, but it like kind of like a vending machine, like a, well, like a soda machine, you know, a fountain drink, um, dispenser, but to create for the machine to make mixed drinks and basically the options will vary depend and it will be dependent based on what type of alcohols are connected to the machine so if for example one is one type of alcohol beverage uh like bottle or whatever is missing then obviously a void it will void some mixed drinks but if you know someone could come up with a way to you know connect these you know liquor um things like a soda machine you know the soda machine um i obviously it will you know, be at least four bottles or five bottles of, of the same type of liquor bottle in, in the container, like a soda container for a vending machine. Because we all know that it's one massive box, you know, and it has a bag around it. And then that's what gets connected to the, to the machine. And not just that. But it all, it will also keep a record of how much of, of the, of alcohol is, you know, has been sold. It will keep record, um, how much alcohol has been like used up and all that. And it can keep a record of all that stuff. Not just that, but I was also thinking about, you know, um, uh, maybe even having at the front kind of like bouncers where when people enter, they will have to enter with, you know, an ID because, I mean, think about it. The legal age right now to drink is 21, right? It changed from, I think it was 18. No, that's cigarettes. Anyways. To drink, the legal age to drink is 21, right? So, 
if someone is paying with a card, then it will automatically know, the computer will automatically know that whoever owns the plastic card is, it will specify their age in the computer and basically give them the consent, the approval. It will clear the transaction basically so they can get their, their alcohol, or whatever. If they're, pay, if they pay with cash, then they can scan their ID. It's that simple. Um, but anyway, like, oh yeah. And then in the beginning of the entrance, the entry, the entry to the pool pub or whatever, the, the bar or, um, yeah, any type of bar, it could ask for, for your ID. Especially if you're trying to purchase alcohol. That way, the system and the cameras can have facial recognition. And the, and basically, it will reveal, like this person has a clearance to purchase alcohol within this facility. And then I was thinking, if someone is underage where they're not allowed to drink, say they're 18, right? But they're in there to play, uh, they're, they want to play like bowling and or like pool, but they're not there to drink. Then they will be open to other things besides obviously the alcohol, right? Um, and then I was thinking, well, what if there's an emergency? Well, if there's an emergency, then even police officers can scan their IDs, you know, their badge number in the entryway, you know, um, even paramedics, firefighters, they can get a clearance just based on their, you know, their badge number. But if they use their badge number, then it will be kept on file. It will be recorded. It will be kept under the history. So if they're off duty and they try to use it so they can get in for free, then the computer will know that first of all, they're off duty and, you know, they're trying to, you know, get in there, you know, um, without, you know, the pop, the proper clearance. You know, because with this is giving, it's overriding certain things so that, you know, in cases of, of emergencies or in case of emergencies, these people can do their job without being limited or restricted. You know, obviously, right? There's a fire or something's going on. These people need to be able to go in. And so, you know, a lot of people are carrying around like chips, like on our credit cards and stuff like that. So maybe as soon as someone enters the, the doorway, it can scan that ID just based on the, on the chip, you know? And so like if someone's off duty, then the computer will register all that. The computer will know everything. It will scan. It will do a quick analysis. And it will basically know exactly what to do. But not just that, but going back to the drinks, the drinks will always come out perfect. Perfectly. And it won't be any type of guessing. It will, you know, people who, who get paid to create mixed drinks will be able to create more and have more of a selection, more of a variety and stuff like that. Maybe the machine can even, per, you know, um, produce like testers, you know, for a certain amount of money. So, you know, like something like, hey, pay, you know, such and such, um, money right now and you will get 
like, let's say, 10 free samples with your $10. So each sample will be like a dollar in this case. So, you know, it'll just be like a little, little, you know, little cup just to try it out. You know, just in case someone doesn't like the drink or whatever. Or someone, it's kind of like wine tasting. You know, like that. But this is definitely more on the digital spectrum than not. Because I have never entered a pool pub or, or anything like that. And I just, that, but it will show people that, you know, the system, you know, our country really cares and they're not, you know, it will also like share or portray that they don't fuck around when it comes to all this shit. Right. So yeah, I, I think it would be awesome. And I was just thinking about that right now as I was laying down and I keep waking up. I keep waking up, um, and going to sleep, waking up, going to sleep, waking up, going to sleep because I have to be somewhere at 8 a.m. I have to go do some window cleaning here in Redding, California, Shasta County, you know, and I was just at the showboat lounge yesterday. So I didn't get to bed till like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. So I'm only running on a few hours of sleep, you know. So like, anyway, I just wanted to get this out of my mind and go back to bed. So I hope I covered everything. If I didn't, I'm sure more geniuses, more smart people, more techie people, more programmers, whatever, can come up with more ideas and more creative, you know, creative ways uh, to make... um money and stuff like that because you know there's a lot we could create more vending machines um even for the pool stuff even for vending machines for fucking um the bowling alleys and stuff like that because at the showboat they have like a back area with some items that are for sale but imagine that stuff being in a vending machine, you know, so more people will basically be attracted to it. But it will also, you know, take up more space. So anyway, that's just something to consider, to think about. Um, maybe maybe we can create more, uh, you know, fancy shelving like this. This is my shelf. That I made personally out of a fence board or a few fence boards. And I I just use some screws. You know, some Phillips screws. Um, the cross Phillips screws. But like little, little um, flat screen TVs can be placed there. So people can get a quick little video demonstration about the the product or whatever or its pros and cons you know like you're trying to buy the or you're we're selling you or advertising this because you know if you don't use this particular product then your bowling or pool accuracy will be um like minimized by like 10%, 5%, whatever the, the percentage may be. Um, so by buying it, it will improve the accuracy, you know, as an example. So anyway, um, that's all I really wanted to talk about though, not to get carried away and start talking about other stuff. But anyway, God bless you guys. God bless you, America. Happy July 2021.